everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making laundry soap the quick and easy way. Uh, first I'm going to show you what you need. Then we're going to take a small break because I'm going to use something electric, old-fashioned salad shooter, to uh, create soap. It's going to make some noise so I'm going to pause the video. Okay simplest simplest possible ingredients soap whatever kind of soap you like if it smells what you, it doesn't matter soap soap is soap and you need washing soda now I can show you how to make washing soda cheaper this is about four dollars a box it's a four pound three pound seven ounce box I can show you how to make it homemade for a little cheaper. You can actually just use a box of baking soda and you heat it. That's all washing soda is. It changes properties when it hits. That, that's the only difference. These are the only two ingredients that you have to have. Washing soda and soap. I personally use Kirk's Castile soap. It's coconut soap. That's, I, I like that. That's what I use. Arm and Hammer washing soda. That's the only brand I know of. Um, and like I said, you can make it with regular baking soda if you need a little cheaper option. It'll save you about two bucks. Um, this seriously, you can use Irish Spring. You can use Ivory. You can use Dove. If you have allergies to any kind of soap, you know something harsh bothers you, whatever soap you use, that's it, it'll be fine. Whatever soap you use. I just happen to like this. Then, if we're going to get fancy, and I'll show you how fancy works, you can use borax. Borax comes in a four pound box. It's about four dollars as well, I believe. Um, I've found this at Family Dollar. Walmart has this. Walmart has the washing soda. Walmart has the Castile soap. HEB. HEB has a Castile soap that is unscented. H-E-B is a Texas grocery store, so if you're not in Texas, that's not going to help you much. Amazon has it, but it, I've found it to be a little more expensive on Amazon. Now, you could also have baking soda. You could also use Epsom salt. So if you have Epsom salt, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Epsom salt and the baking soda is going to help with whitening. The Epsom salt is like... A fabric softener and then if you want to cheat and you have a gorgeous scent that you just can't live without I have bought small packages of game dumped it in a small package just for the smell or fireworks game scented Ta -da! this will just make the whole thing smell like you want it to smell does not have to have any of that Seriously, the only two ingredients that are necessary is soap and washing soap. That's it. Now, the soap, as you can see, bars of soap. I have three. Comes in a pack of three, what I bought. You can use one. You can use three. There is very little rhyme or reason to this, and it's a super simple recipe. I take a big knife. I cut it in half. Oh, Lord. Cut it in half, but I'm going to stick it in this little salad shooter to grate it. You can use a regular cheese grater or one of those old-fashioned cheese graters. Whatever you have that makes it easiest to grate that. Just be careful of your fingers if you're going to use an old-fashioned cheese grater. Okay, so since I'm going to do this, I'm going to show you my other cheat because I don't like wasting things. I buy cat litter because I have cats at Petco. Petco will let you refill buckets for a little cheaper. You can just bring the bucket back in and you can get bulk now, when you forget your bucket, you get another bucket. Well, then you get a house full of buckets. It kind of becomes a mess. I try to put them to use. I wash them. Don't want cat litter or anything. And this is the bucket I use. <laughs> it is seriously just a cat litter bucket, but it is washed. There's, there's nothing. I mean, it is washed. Um, I'm going to grate that soap into here. And I will be back with you in a minute since this is going to be really loud. We're back. So, 
I have grated soap. This is three bars, Kirk's Castile soap, and it is just grated like cheese. This looks like mozzarella. That's all it is. Now, simple and easy soap. Open your washing soda, dump it in with your soap, and mix it up. Now you have laundry soap. It'll work. If you want it to whiten a little more, you can also put powdered OxyClean in it. You can put baking soda. That's going to help it whiten, and that's going to take out smell. So if you have teenage boys, people in athletics, anything like that. You just dump that in there. Now, Borax is just going to be a booster. You can use Purex. You can use Clorox too. Um, what was that one my mom used to use? Biz, Biz Bleach. It doesn't whiten things, you know, stain them, but it helps dump this in. Now, if you want this to be fabric softener as well. Epsom salt is fabric softener. Pour some in. Good enough. Pour some in. Makes no difference. Too much, too little, no such thing. Just pour some in. Now, if you use FR clothing, for those of you who don't know, that's flame resistant clothing. If you're a welder, if you work in plants, you are not supposed to use fabric softener on your clothing. It says right on the labels that none of us read, but you're not supposed to. So don't put the Epsom salt in here if you're going to be washing FR clothes. If you're not, it makes no difference. Put it in here. But then you do not need a fabric softener. However, I also pour vinegar in the rinse cycle sometimes in the that that'll work as fabric softener as well and it does I mean I use white distilled vinegar the cheap you know kind that will work wonderfully as a fabric softener and all you have to do is put it in the fabric softener little hole and it'll be fine but again don't use that on because even if it's natural it's still not good for ever clothing mix it up now I bought these little gain I don't know what are they little little smelly things fireworks whatever it doesn't make any kind of difference but I am addicted to the smell of gain I have bought a small box of gain and just dumped it in here for the smell worked great I apologize I hit something and this has moved <laughs> Ta -da. dump the little smell goodies in there Now it smells, oh my goodness, that smells so good. Now it smells like game. Ta-da. And that's it. You've made laundry soap. This lasts forever. I use a little coffee scoop. One little scoop. If my clothes are super, super, super bad, I might use one and a half too, but I think that's just more in my head that I think it needs that. I have never had the grated soap not dissolve I've never and you can grade it smaller it, it doesn't matter seriously this is not rocket science there's nothing to it now it's got grated soap it's got the little smell goodies and you have a half a bucket and that's gonna last well that'll last me a year that that will seriously last me a year um because I only use that little coffee scoop. That's that's how much I use. I make this for my mom. I make this for my sister. They call, where's our soap? We're out of soap. Help us out. I haven't bought laundry soap in, I don't know, four or five years. But this is, you don't have to use the borax. You don't, you can use the washing soda and the soap and if you use organic castile soap of some sort I mean you could almost eat this I wouldn't recommend eating laundry soap but 
unlike some laundry soaps, this isn't going to kill you because most of what's in it. Now, I wouldn't recommend eating it if there's borax in it. I wouldn't recommend eating it with this in it. Now, if you prefer not to have something as artificial, you can, with your Epsom salt, set it on a tray, cookie sheet, pan, whatever, and put essential oils on your Epsom salt, mix it, let it dry a little, and then dump it in here. That'll give it the scent if that's what you prefer. I just sort of addicted to the smell of gain, so this is what I do. I use my hand and mix it up. It's not going to hurt me because it's not toxic so much. So, baking soda, soap, washing soda, Epsom salt. Not much to it, y'all. There you go.